Okay, this is the season one finale of our Manchester United career mode, and we've got a lot to play for. We have a chance to win the FA Cup and the Europa League, but I'd say the most important thing is qualifying for the Champions League next season. The new owners of United are going to decide in the summer if Ten Hag should remain as United manager. This episode might decide that for them. This episode might decide the future of the entire series and this club. So drop a like down below if you want to see more. Hit that sub button down below if you've not, and let's get into it. Now, the headlines for this season finale, if many United fail to qualify for the Champions League next season, apparently Ten Hag will be 100% sacked. So that shows how big this episode is. Now, first comment though, please upgrade the rating of Maynou as he definitely deserves it. Yeah, Maynou is one of the lowest rated players in this team, but he's actually had like a very good season. He's played well in played games. So maybe for season two, we might give him a little bit of a boost because I agree if there's one player that deserves it, it's probably him. Now, next one, are we ever going to see the return of Matthew Rose? 100% yes, we will. I think probably like two or three months, maybe near towards the summer, we will see the return of Matthew Rose in some form. And last one, definitely think Mason Mountain deserves more starts. Yeah, Mason Mount this season, he's had a very good year, I think, off the bench. Obviously, with Bruno and De Jong, it's kind of hard to fit him in there, but he's still played 31 times and he's got nine assists, so that's pretty good. He's definitely a player that I could see as keeping, pretty much due to that versatility of playing as a winger and also a midfielder. But okay, like we saw, we have two cup finals today the FA Cup final versus Chelsea, and then the Europa League final versus Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp's final game as Liverpool manager. So yeah, this episode's gonna be very dramatic, but first we got the Premier League finale. So three games left, we currently sit in third place. We are not catching Man City, so we're not winning the title. Our goal is to finish top four. That's the most important thing today, I think. Either finishing top four or winning the Europa League. Is that one sure us getting Champions League for season two? The issue is our next two games in the Prem, the last two of our three, aren't just huge. We face Arsenal and then Newcastle both at home. So if we can win this game and win versus Newcastle, that will guarantee top four for us. And first up, we have Arsenal at Old Trafford. Now, for some reason, Dalo has a red card in this game, so we can't play. So Wambi Saka comes in. That's a decent replacement, though. I like Wambi Saka a lot. I think other than that, we go with our strongest team. I think it's not time to mess around. I think I'm going to put Phillips on the bench over Anthony and at least say over Mara. And I think we go with that. So strongest first team. And if we win our next two games in the Prem, we ensure Champions League for season two. Problem is, I don't think Arsenal and Newcastle will either be easy games. So I'm expecting a uh, tough battles here. So Arsenal up first at Old Trafford. If we lose this, it's going to set the tone for a very shaky season finale. We got to start off strong here. Now, if I remember right, we beat Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. We kind of had the kids playing, not the full first team. And their team wasn't maybe as strong. But technically, we have beat them now. They're having a good start here. Gets it over to guard. Varane blocks that. Wami Saka is just going to clear it. That was almost a very bad start. Jesus is going to feed it to Odegaard. Players can't come over fast enough. Gets it back to Jesus. Varane stops him. Tries to can't. And then he's going to score anyways. Bro, the ball was glued to Jesus's foot there. We literally could not do anything. Like, I was trying to get the ball. Okay, so it is a disaster start here. Bro, I am on him. I'm trying to get the ball there. But it's just glued to his feet. And then he shoulders us away. Now, no, no. I feel like probably could do better with that. But I'm not sure I'm going to blame him completely for that. Okay, 1-0 down. Under 8 minutes. That is not the start we needed. I mean, we've got to respond somehow. Luke Shaw. To Hoyland, but Ewar steps up for that. Yeah, I am not liking what I'm seeing to start this game. They seem like they're very much in form. And we are not Odegaard in front of goal. Onana, that no penalty. Oh, I thought it would be a penalty, bro. Oh, that was so risky by Onana, but thankfully it worked. Bruno, Rashford, wait for Luke Shaw. Wait for him. Now get it to Luke Shaw in space. Luke Shaw, Deong is calling for it. Luke Shaw. Okay, I pressed cross and he just didn't cross it. What was that? At least we get a corner. Corner swung in. Bruno Fernandez, two. Casemiro, bro, his headers are always so bad. We're already dangerous spot. Gets it back to Martinelli, and we are 2-0 down to our Arsenal right now. What did I say? I didn't want a shaky start in the season finale, and we've got now a shaky start. Okay, 2-0 in 24 minutes. Okay, we got to try and stop this becoming a disaster here. On Misaka, up to Garnacho. Garnacho feeds it to Rasmus Hoyland. Okay, what a finish by Hoyland. You can't put that any more accurately. Okay, one goal back. We're back in this. I don't know how Hoyland scored this. So Garnacho is a good pass right there, but Hoyland takes one touch. You can't get more accurate than that. Like that thing is literally in the corner right there. Okay, we are back in this. We needed that desperately. Arsenal's passing and their structure attacking wise is just tearing us apart right now, though. I'm still very much worried. Brody versus Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw did well there actually pretty well, and he keeps it in too. Okay, that was much better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, we were having issues though. Jesus is going to shoot and and he's going to score again. It's 3-1. We just can't defend right now at all. Especially Jesus. Players like this on competitive mode are so hard to mark. But no one's even marking there. Onana is not really saving anything right now. And we are 3-1 down in about 35 minutes. If we're going to make a comeback here, it's going to be a very high scoring game. But I don't think we can stop them scoring. Luke Shaw gets it to Bruno. Bruno has room for a finesse shot here. But it's going to go right to Ramsdale. Ringa Young finds Garnacho in space. Garnacho to Rashford. That is totally telegraphed. Gabriel just read that one. Bro, like we have literally no opportunity to defend them. They're getting by us every time they want to. Luke Shaw, it's good defending there. But they're just like getting into our box so easily. Rashford out to Luke Shaw. Get it back to Rashford. 
Actually, no, that's but meant for Rashford, not Hoyland. Why would it go there? Oh man, 3 j suits. This is the best Arsenal played all season long, I think. This is one of the best first halves against us all season long, too. Like, it's not just Arsenal. Martinez, clear the ball, please. Thank you. Okay, halftime. It's not impossible, but 3 1 down. We are in a very bad spot right now. I don't know how we're going to come back in this game because we just can't stop them attacking wise. Even if we score two, I feel they're going to score another four. Rashford, Luke Shaw gets it to Bruno. Bruno, chance to cross this into Garnacho. What a what a cross, but it's good defending. Oh, we got to show some fight back, though. Maybe a draw would not be a bad result. Not completely. Hoyland out to Amisaka. Get it back to Hoyland. Into Rasmus Hoyland. That finish is blocked, though. Rashford does collect it. Gets it back to Frank De Jong. Into Bruno. Bruno. First touch was not the best. Casemiro over to Hoyland through Garnacho. Acuna is going to stop that attack, though. At least that was a little better. Rashford gives it to Luke Shaw. Into Hoyland. Hoyland has got Rashford on the inside here. No, Rashford just overran the pass. Garnacho with space. Gets it to Luke Shaw. Into Marcus Rashford. Gets... No, someone's got to be in the middle there. Oh, just everyone is being marked. Okay, two subs. Alex Scott for Casemiro going very attacking here. And also Mason Mount for Rashford. Not Rashford's uh, best game. And also he is pretty tired, so we need fresh legs on. Jesus, Martinez can tackle. Luke Shaw, keep it. Keep it. Calm. Nice. Mason, he's been a little bit of super sub this year. I need more of that this game. He's in kind of here. Doesn't have the most pace though, but making a run. Plays it to Bruno. Bruno. Chance to come inside. Keeps it. Into Frank and Young. I need a pass here. We got to find it. Over to Bruno. Bruno into Hoyland. He's going to take a shot. And okay, 2-3. Hoyland scores again. Great assist by Bruno Fernandez. And we are back in this again, maybe. Hoyland, that's a calm. That's a very uh, clinical finish. Is there a chance we can make this comeback? A brace by Hoyland. 20 minutes left. And we are within one goal again. I think if we get a point, that might be a very big point. Oh, Garnacho, what a steal. How did he steal that? Garnacho, he's tired. Gets it to Bruno, though. Bruno needs one more pass. Finds Mason Mount. Over to... Luke Shaw, who's going to shoot? And his shot is right at Ramsdale, though. I am aiming far post. I don't know how that shot is going right at Ramsdale. Got to be just Luke Shaw's finishing stat. Oh, my. Frank Young, another steal. Gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland out to Mason Mount. Mason, Hoyland through to Bruno Fernandez. And it's 3-3. We've tied this game up. 79th minute. We are 3-3. We're not done yet. Grab the ball. We're going to try and win this game. Mason Mount, what a pass. And Hoyland, what a pass. We got 10 minutes left. We still have a chance to win this. Come on, 3-3. This would be the best win of the series, maybe, if we can win this. The energy in this game has just shifted towards us. Frank De Jong to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno, Scott Garnacho, going to wait. Get it to Mason Mount. Back to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw is going to shoot, and oh, that's going to go wide. I felt so good about that shot. Oh, I felt good about it. Oh, we just sliced it a little bit wide. All right, final two subs. Molassi on for Shaw. Shaw's tired. Then Elise is on for Garnacho. Come on, keep pushing. I feel like this goal is there for us. Mason Mount gets it to Alex Scott. Driving forward a little bit. Plays it back to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno into Michael Elise. That shot is blocked by Cunha, though. And now we got to defend this. Martinelli is doing a few moves and scaring me. De Jong, good tracking back, though. We got a minute. I definitely don't want to lose the game. We can get the final chance here, though. Scott plays it to Hoyland. Hoyland, great ball to Wambisaka. Alex Scott looking for a pass here. Oh, no, Acuna is going to steal it again. Bro, Acuna has been so good for them in every matchup. Okay, at least we draw. At least we get a point. That game shifted so hard towards us, and I feel like that is a big point right there. Okay, so after that draw, we drop down to fifth place, but we have a game in hand over Spurs, so if we win versus Newcastle, we'd go back to third, and then Spurs go down to fifth, and I feel like that would probably make us finish top four at least. It'd be really tough for Spurs to overtake us in the final day from fifth, so now we face Newcastle United at Old Trafford win this and I'm pretty sure that means we finish top four so before this game Bruno Fernandez our captain he says we understand how important this game is for the club and the fans we know that Man United is a club that needs to be in the Champions League I mean hey, Liverpool are the favorites in that Europa League final so we know in this game we're playing for this is our best chance to get Champions League next year now Varane is a little tired Dallas is a little tired but I think I gotta go with them we gotta go with our best possible team so same as last time and hopefully this time we can get the job done win this and qualify for the Champions League now I will say this I remember facing Newcastle earlier this season. We beat them, I think, five, was it five, two? So we scored like five goals against them and they did not play great. So I feel like I'm confident we can win this. And after that draw versus Arsenal, we got to win this. Come on, we cannot drop points here in bottle Champions League. This right here feels kind of like a, another cup final. We basically have three in one episode, one season finale. Now, Veranda Dallo, come on, we need a good start here. Score early. Dallo into Hoyland. Hoyland, oh man, I thought he was going to get the ball there and play it to Garnacho. Garnacho is going to feed in Hoyland, get it to Bruno. Bruno into Rasmus Hoyland. That's a shot. That's going to fall to Bruno. Volley attempt and that goes wide. Isak comes forward. I got to mark him here. Teammates, I need to mark him. Varan. Isak is just running through us right now. He's in a, he's dribbling it all the way out from the box, all the way out here. What are they doing? The scary thing is, it's going to work actually. Okay, Dallo can tackle. Dallo, Dallo, great play there. Okay, Frank De Jong's got space here. Waiting for Rashford. Rashford, I see you. Marcus Rashford, good touch. And then Marcus Rashford, what a finish. And his form has been inconsistent, but he's still scoring big goals for us this year towards the end of the season. Frank De Jong, great assist. But Marcus Rashford, that is all his finish. Okay, 1 0. Good start. 
start here. Honestly, I think we probably have like a 25% chance to be Liverpool in the Europa League final. So I feel like Champions League for next year, it's right here, basically. Renacho gets it to Frankie De Jong in space again. De Jong has got Hoyland. De Jong, what a pass to Rasmus. Rasmus, I need you to finish that, Rasmus. What a finish. Okay, Frank De Jong is pulling the strings though right now for this team. That's two assists for him and we're 2-0 up. Okay, we got to stop them scoring though. I mean, they haven't scored yet, but we've done this where we go like 2 3 nil up and then let them get back in the game. That cannot happen in this one. And hey, so far, Hoyland is having a very big season finale. Okay, the players feel very informed in this game. I can just tell. Especially Frank De Jong, who has another pass to Garnacho. Now, Garnacho is going to swing that in. Okay, that's going to go to Botman. That is so awkward. They are going to get it out though. Isak, see, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Oh, Nana, I need you to save something. He's just not saving anything. Newcastle get one back and it's 2-1. I don't know how there's so much space for Isak there. What did I just say? Can't let him back in the game and we just let them back in the game. That is the story of us this season. Renacho, Hoyland, get it to Marcus. Marcus turns. Trying to find something. He's going to stop and try for a finesse shot, man. Keo, that's good defending though. Renacho, good dribbling there. Now Dallow's there to help. Renacho doesn't need help though, actually. He is going to cross this in to Bruno. He's not going to reach that though. Yeah, one goal lead in this kind of game is just not comfortable at all. I need like a three goal lead if you feel comfortable. Renacho might have Rashford far post. Whoa, the keeper again is shaking on a cross there. Dallo wins a header, but we're not going to win it. De Jong does win that back. Chance here. Hoyland, chance to go for a shot. That shot is blocked by Dan Byrne though. Okay, it's not a terrible first half, but we should be 2-0 up right now. We're not 2-1 up. We went 2-0 up and I thought this game, you know, might be a little bit comfortable, but nope, not with this team. Martinez, Rashford, Hoyland. Get it to Bruno. Bruno, time it right to Garnacho is on side. Garnacho, chance to score here. Chance to score. Garnacho, what a finish. That is a beautiful start to the second half. 3-1 up in the 48th minute. And Garnacho took this so well. Like he is under pressure by almost two center backs, but still gets the finish. Come on, just keep this going now. Just stop them scoring. I'm gonna block all these passing lanes and not give them a chance, but they still like find their ways through. Just like this, Joe Linton somehow gets by my midfield, but that pass is terrible. Onana is just gonna smack that forward and that's fine. Actually, this turns out to be a very good pass, Bruno to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw waiting for Rashford, waiting for him. Not a bad ball. Rashford cross in. Oh, the cross is so good, but no one's in a good spot for it. Come on, if I get this three goal lead, I'd be so happy. Andre Martinez to Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong plays to Garnacho, but target's gonna get that first. Bruno, great win into Rashford. Get it to Hoyland. Just keep it, keep it, relax. Frankie de Jong, great hold up play. Pass to Dallo. Dallo in the box. Gets it back too. That's gonna be oh, that's gonna be a save. Hold up, where's the ball? I can't even see it. Oh man, what a save though. That should have been our three goal lead. Oh no, now Gretzka. Okay, block the pass. Thankfully, we blocked it. Gretzka versus Martinez. He's gonna drag it back. Dallo, good spot. Just clear that thing. Grimades. Bruno again. Bruno is doing a lot right now defensively. Come on, their defense is so shaky. We gotta find this spot just like this. Come on, Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw waiting for something. Rashford, can you back up a little bit? Goes to Hoyland. Hoyland, first time finish. Okay, 4 1. That goal might ensure us qualifying for the Champions League next year. It might. Just Luke Shaw picks out a good pass in the end. Hoyland, though, that first time finish is calm. Just basically, like, passing it into the net. That was beautiful. Okay, Rashford off for Noah Phillips. Let's do Garnacho to the left, and let's do Maynou for Casemiro. I feel like I want more pace in the midfield right now. We keep getting, like, caught in behind. Maynou has more pace than, uh, than Casemiro. Okay, 20 minutes left. I mean, we cannot lose a three-goal lead, right? There's no way. Did I just jinx it? Probably, yeah. Dallo, Dallo. Good tackle into Noah Phillips. Frank De Jong driving this forward. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Keep it. Nice. Bruno. Is he onside? He is onside. Bruno. Two. Seal this game, maybe. Bruno, what a calm finish. Okay, we put another five past uh, Newcastle United. And I feel like that probably ensures us Champions League. Because now that's plus four to our goal difference. I don't think Spurs can catch us. Bruno, that is a beautiful finish right there, though. Okay, that's a bounce back after the Arsenal uh, draw. Don't let them score. Bruno, okay. Whoa, how did Rand fall there? That's going to be... Okay, no, it's not going to be a goal because Martinez saves us. Bro, our defense is just so shaky, though. It is so incredibly shaky. Onana, just poof that thing forward. Don't mess around with it. Actually, Onana... That is an amazing pass. Arnacho has Hoyland. He's going to get it back to uh, Luke Shaw instead. Luke Shaw into Kobe Mainu. Goes for the long shot. That thing had some, like, fizz to it. Didn't look too bad, actually. Young into Noah Phillips. The next David Beckham is dribbling around a few here. Gets it over to Bruno. Bruno, always oh, going to be so offside, I think. Arnacho, he's offside. Is he offside? Okay, I was going to say, yeah, he's offside. That is unfortunate there. All right, Mara, Turibo coming on. Also, Alex Scott. Final five minutes just to ensure to finish this game. We just basically got the job done today. 5-1 in the end. It wasn't really close. And it might not be closer because Mara's in here. Take Mara. Okay, how did Gadetska steal that? And how is Gadetska even at Newcastle United? That's a player I'd like to sign, Mara. Mara? He's going to win it. Mara does win it. Okay, I didn't mean to shoot, though. I tried to make a tackle and he shot. Willick into uh, Wilson. Gets it out to Harvey Barnes. Turibo 
Toribo. Good tackle by him. Okay, one final chance. They're going to get it. Okay, this for goal difference, we can't concede. Thankfully, we don't. Okay, full time, 5-1 win. And I'm pretty sure that means we qualify top four at least. I don't think Spurs can catch us now. All right, so one game left and we're up now to third place. Now, Spurs are three points behind us and they're only minus one on goal difference. So it's actually not insured just yet. Now, we face Brighton on the final day. Newcastle are going to face Brentford and I think Spurs face Sheffield United. So a draw at least on the final day here will ensure us finishing top four officially. So all we need is a draw. We're going to play the highlights of this game just to ensure that we can draw this game and not lose it. I don't want to sim and lose it. That'd be such a disaster. So all we got to do is just uh, not lose this game. Varane, what a block. They almost just scored immediately. They're going to freak it. Who's shooting this? Might be Casemiro, actually. Actually, no. Get it to Varane. Varane over to Rashford. Wait for a pass. Gets it over to Dallo. Dallo, crossover. Okay, where is that cross going to? Literally no one. We got a corner in the 23rd minute, which, okay, that's going to almost be good. Rashford gets it into Garnacho, who shoots across goal, and that's a, that was a big save, I think. Okay, 51st minute, it's still tied up here. Now, can Bruno score this free kick, though? Bruno, that's a good amount of power. From the free kick, Bruno Fernandez. That's gonna hit the post. Okay, Hoyland, there was an open net. You're telling me they just had a penalty? You're telling me that they have a chance to take the lead here? Onana just saved a penalty in the 58th minute to maybe save our Champions League hopes. Like, what am I even seeing right now? And that game ends nil-nil. Okay, so we get the draw at least. And I want to see it officially, but I'm pretty sure that means we do get Champions League next year. Okay, so Newcastle and Spurs both win their game, but that draw means we do finish fourth. That was way closer than I thought it'd be. But in the end, we ensure Champions League for next year. So that is very good. That was the most important thing today, I think, for the uh, future of this club. So that's big. Although it was much closer than it should have been. Okay, now we got two cup finals to play. The first one, the Europa League final versus Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp's like send off game. Now a few days before the final though in training, Ten Hag says we need to ignore all the outside noise, all the rumors and focus on these next two matches. The experience of playing in a cup final is a privilege. He says appreciate it and give it your everything. So that right there is the Liverpool team we face. It's Diogo Jota, Darwin Nunez, Salah, Moretti, Soboslai, uh, Basetic, and then uh, Robertson, Hume, Virgil van Dijk, Gomez, and, and Allison. So no trend. That is, uh, that's interesting. Now I think I'm going to play some of the youngsters in the FA Cup final. I mean, this is the more important one, I feel like. So we are going full strength again for this game. And at least now we're not playing for Champions League or our Champions League life. We can just focus on getting this trophy now, trying to win this trophy. Now, probably since the start of this season's uh, Europa League, uh, Liverpool have been the favorite to win it. So we are definitely not the favorites here. But the Europa League final in uh, in Spain, Jurgen Klopp's final game, we know they're going to be very motivated to win it for him. So let's just see how this goes. Play and see what happens. Bruno gets it to Rashford. Come on, fast start. Out to uh, Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, crossover. That's going to go to Garnacho. Garnacho header. Allison will collect in the end though. I mean, a finishing top four is definitely going to help Ten Hag, but you know the ownership are looking at these two finals and also judging uh, these two games. Casemiro, chance for a long shot. Van Dyke blocks that shot though. Bro, I can kind of tell from Liverpool's passing already that it seems uh, very quick and very crisp too. Like they look in form. This is going to be Diogo Jota, Luke Shaw. No, it was Dallo, not Luke Shaw. And that's going to be a penalty. We go for the ball there. We kind of shoulder him and then he kind of runs in front of us. Liverpool a chance to immediately take the lead. Onana versus Salah. This is probably going top corner. Top corner. No, Onana. Another big penalty save. Salah misses in a final. That is big right there. And also very lucky, I think. Okay, collect it. Collect it. Everyone relax. Just calm. Calmness. Game is still nil-nil. Frank de Jong, don't lose there. Get it to Garnacho. Garnacho space in the middle. Rashford gets it to Bruno Fernandez. He's going to shoot. Allison makes the save. Bruno cross in. Goes to Casemiro. That's going to fall. Oh my, Varane almost actually got that. Gonna be a, it's going to be a goal kick though. Boylan, ball to Rashford. Rashford can go for a shot. Marcus Rashford has just hit the crossbar. What a shot. De Jong, back to Marcus again. Marcus, left-footed shot. Allison saves that. Oh, it's not going to go out for a corner either. Okay, lively start for both teams in this game. Aretti plays it to Nunez. Nunez got a pass in the middle. Stay with Nunez. Stay with him. Gets it instead. Amoretti. Okay, Onana. He is coming up big in this final right now so far. Making me thinking about replacing him, like not replacing him. Varane on Salah. Varane. Varane does win that battle, thankfully. Bro, this is being played at a million miles per hour. Or I guess I should say kilometers. Hoyland shot. It's right at Allison again. Bruno to Marcus. Marcus. Decent turn there. Marcus looking for a spot. Goes for a shot and Marcus Rashford scores. 30th minute. That is the first goal of this Europa League final. I almost said Champions League final. I forgot it's the Europa League. That's how big this game feels. Okay, Rashford in form and we strike first in this final. Salah, please stop. Salah, I'm going to need you to stop here. I'm Marcus Nunez. Salah gets it to Soboslai. Salah, Soboslai. 
Come on, someone's gonna mark him, please. Someone's gonna mark him. So almost like gets it to Nunez. Nope, Varan. No, 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 Dallo. Okay, we barely survived that. Salah into Nunez. Nunez, Nunez. Oh my, Varan just saved a goal there. Okay, short corner, Salah. Gonna go back to Sobos Life probably. Goes to Moretti instead. Jota, but good defending. We get the ball out again. But man, we are under pressure right now. Gomez just wins it past Bruno. They are putting a lot of pressure on us. Sobos Life is gonna get a chance to shoot Moretti in the box. He is gonna find Jota. Jota. Okay, bro. They are just chilling in our box right now. Dallo tackles that, but they are getting so much time in our box. Okay, final chance the first half not, does not go to us. Does it go to us? It might go to us actually. Okay, Bruno's got Rash for the middle. Goes to Frankie Dong instead. Frankie. No, that was meant for Hoyland, not Frankie Dong. Okay. Okay, though first half we're one nil up currently we were under uh so much pressure there but currently we do have the lead now i can imagine this team just probably heard jurgen klopp's final halftime team talk so you could just imagine how fired up they are so i am a little bit terrified a little bit i feel like you're gonna score at some point i feel like a clean sheet this game is not a uh, possibility for us it's just how long can we prevent them scoring corner swung in by salah that's gonna go to dallo he clears it salah salah in front of onana okay onana saves it again white a europa league final double slide gets it to Jota into Nunez shoots but Casemiro stops it and we do get the ball out bro they are so close though oh Bruno loses it to Sawa though and they have a chance counterattack Nunez Nunez Jota don't let him shoot Solba Sly into Nunez why isn't someone marking Nunez bro I am marking Jota Nunez runs right through our defense and it's 1-1 now it's all tied up bro I am marking I'm marking Jota here look at Nunez Casemiro is standing there not marking him and he gets like a free shot at Onana okay 30 minutes left and it's it's 1-1 Hoyland Hoyland okay don't lose that there Rash Ashford, chance to shoot. Oh, I thought that looked good. Gonna be a goal kick though. Alta Nunez into Jota. Oh my, what a block by Martinez though. That was so desperate, but it worked. Bruno gets it to Casemiro. Now get the pass out to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, we're gonna cross this in. Wait for Hoyland. Waited for him. Hoyland is there, but again, he outruns the cross though. It's such a good cross. We are playing with fire right now. Both teams play so aggressively. There's so many open chances. 15 minutes, game is still tied up. Ala gets it to Jota, over to Soboslai again a tackle and we do get it out again though that hitch gets it to luis diaz in to jota someone's gonna block this shot sal is free how does he actually score that though onana was at the near post he didn't even dive for it 80th minute liverpool take now a 2-1 lead now i brought someone away from sal there because i thought they were gonna pass to him so i guess credit to them for finding him i took shaw away because i thought he was gonna shoot and i needed more people to mark seat i thought it was gonna go to nunez but it went all the way to sal that was such a good pass but like this shot i guess Onana doesn't even dive for it. He just watches it go in. Bro, Onana, if he dives there, he probably saves that. Bro, I feel sick. Okay, Varane is tired. We got to do Todibo, and uh, I guess I got to leave Dallow on, but I think we are also going to do uh, Mason Mount for Rashford. Actually, no, I got to do Mason Mount for Garnacho. Okay, 10 minutes. We need to tie this up and force extra time. We have not done anything in the second half, though. We keep losing it. Like, we're not finding any space. Casemiro, Hoyland. Space here, actually, though. Diong gets it into Marcus Rashford shoots and somehow that goes in bro that shot wasn't even good 84th minute rashford ties it up bro this shot was not even good it's a, is it deflected shot is taken no that's not even a good shot and this final is tied up again bro i cannot believe that we have a chance to force extra time now diaz please no diaz gonna stop gets it to nunez nunez okay please everyone marks please Nunez. Okay, Turibo stops that one. Back out to Basetic. They're just keeping this so calmly. They might get the final chance here. Before extra time, Soboslai. Luke Shaw. Is that going to be a corner or a goal kick? Oh, it's going to be a corner. We got four minutes. I don't know. That's a lot out of time. Soboslai. Corner in. That's cleared. De Jong, second clearance is not the greatest, but Dallo gets it out. We still got time left, though. Bro, they're just not letting go of this ball right now. Final chance goes to them. Luke Shaw has that. Gets to Nunez, though. Nunez. Find Soboslai and they have just scored the winner. You've got to be kidding me. Soboslai has scored a 94th minute winner to win the Europa League. How is no one marking Soboslai? That is devastating. Like, how does this chance even happen? Nunez stole that, which was a good, by, good play by him, but... Bro, oh, Todibo, I, did I make that challenge? I might have made that tackle, but I feel like that was our only chance. He wasn't in a good spot to block that shot. He was on the right side of Sobo's side, not the left. I don't know if that was me or the game, though. It might have been me. We literally have no time left. Do we have time? Please, run the, get the ball forward. No, that's the final kick. We have lost to the Europa League final. You've got to be kidding me. We just lost it in the final minute, basically. And Jurgen Klopp wins the Europa League final in his final game as Liverpool manager. I just can't believe they scored a goal like that in the end, bro. I cannot believe that. Of course, that's how we lose. So the 
the Europa League trophy goes to Liverpool, not us. I can't watch them lift it. I can't watch them lift it. Bro, we were just like smothered though in that second half. Other than Rashford's goal, it was all them. So it is Europa League heartbreak for Manchester United. Now that's why I'm glad we finished uh, top four in the Prem because if we were just relying on the Europa League to get Champions League next year, like I'd be so nervous for that. So at least that game did not decide that, but we still just missed out on a major trophy. And I don't know what this means for Ten Hag now. Like he lost the Europa League final. Saying that though, there is a chance for some redemption here. The FA Cup final now versus Chelsea. If we can win this final, I think we could maybe still call this season a success. But before this game online, the pressure is building. After a Europa League final loss, can Eric Ten Hag save his job by winning the FA Cup? Final game of the season, that's the team that stands in our way. Now, last time we played them, it was a draw, I think, so it was close. Okay, Rashford is rinsed, so I think, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna do Juan Misaka, Tudibo for Varane, and I think we're gonna do Alex Scott for Rashford. I think we're doing that. My gut's telling me that's the best player for that position right now. Let's actually throw Garnacho to the left and then Scott on the right. Let's do that. After that Europa League final loss, we got to go pretty strong here because we need redemption in this FA Cup final now. Man, that, that final loss just hurts so bad. It is now time to redeem ourselves. Come on, FA Cup final versus Chelsea. We can't lose two finals in a row and miss out on every trophy possible this year. Okay, Chelsea having a strong start here. They're just playing around the back a little bit. Plays it to Jackson. Jackson versus Deong. Jackson. Okay, Deong just fell right there. And Kunku, good chance. Wambi Saka steals it. Hold up. Wait, what? Okay, and Kunku was offside there. I thought it was a penalty, bro. I was gonna be like, what? There was no penalty there. Luke Shaw into Casemiro. Casemiro. See if we can go forward a little bit. Into Garnacho. Garnacho. Oh no, that was not meant right there, bro. Do not make mistakes in a game like this. Bruno Fernandez, great ball to Deong. Gets it up to Hoyland. Hoyland into Alex Scott. Scott waits for Wambi Saka. Wambi Saka is gonna whip that cross. Beautiful. Garnacho header attempt, and that goes uh not near the net. Get it over to Luke Shaw. Come on, find this first goal. Luke Shaw's got Garnacho. Garnacho through to Alex Scott. Alex Scott shoots that. Kukurel is going to block it though. Frank Neong to Alex Scott. Oh, I'm shooting this. Alex Scott from distance. That's going to be a corner. I'll take that. Oh wait, no, that's a that's a free kick. Okay, that's really close too. Bruno, can we finally please score a free kick? Like bro, we've been so close. We're going to go right there. Three bars of power. Bruno Fernandez is going to, bro, we hit the crossbar and that looked like it went in, but it bounced out. How much closer can I get to scoring a free kick? I'm going to lose my mind. Jackson is going to get it to Rabio. They score after we just hit the crossbar. I'm going to be very mad. Is that Sully March? He's playing for Chelsea. That's a weird signing. Casemiro through to Frank De Jong. Frankie waiting for a pass, waiting for something. Frank De Jong might shoot this himself. He's going to shoot this himself. Okay. Cross actually posts, but then Alex Scott puts in the rebound. I can barely see what's happening there, but Alex Scott gets the start in the FA Cup final and scores. What a big moment for him, as we called him England's best wonder kid. But this was Frank Young's shot. Like, what a shot, but the hits the post? That was so unlucky. At least the rebound fell to Alex Scott. Okay, 1-0 in what? The 28th minute. Bro, this whole season finale has just been chaos. It's like I'm losing my voice. Sterling gets it to Jackson, and they're going to score immediately. To make it 1-1, I can only laugh. One pass, one simple pass to Jackson, one first time finish. And this game is tied up immediately. Golly March driving forward. Come on, defense. Tudibo, Tudibo, Tudibo. Good defending there, at least. Arnacho's got Bruno, but I don't think that pass is going to work. Patience, but that patience will find a good pass. Gets it to De Jong. De Jong, switch it to... Okay, De Jong, what was that pass actually? Bro, De Jong doesn't misplay his passes very frequently, so that pass going that far wide is fishy. He never does that. Okay, Martinez plays it to Shaw very well, at least. Gets it to Garnacho into Bruno. Bruno. Find space. Dribbles in the box. We got Garnacho. Garnacho. Okay, that's blocked. Luke Shaw. Cross in. That'll be a corner. All right, short corner to Garnacho. Get it back to Bruno. Bruno. In two. It is Alex Scott again. Okay, that shot was so bad from Alex Scott. Probably doesn't have the finesse shot uh, play style. Might get the final chance of the first half. Scott gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland driving through. Tries to find Garnacho, but Gusto gets to it first. Whoa, Tiago Silva. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, they're gonna get it out. Bro, they were playing so loose there. But okay, halftime, it's currently 1-1. This feels like it could go either way, to be honest. The final 45 minutes of season one, and I am a little bit scared. Juan Misaka could cross this in. Gets room for it. Crossover looks great, but it goes right to Sanchez. Now, definitely Rashford is my super sub on the bench right now now waiting for the right time to bring him on okay Casemiro great still he fell over too Scott gets it to Hoyland Hoyland wait for Garnacho wait for him we're gonna go to Bruno instead Bruno decent first touch don't lose there get it out to Wanbisaka Wanbisaka gets it back to Bruno Bruno turns into Hoyland who shoots and that's blocked bro we just couldn't find a shot there Rabio's gonna feed that though Casemiro Casemiro no we can't lose it there bro oh my Onana what a save we cannot lose it in that spot bro they tackled back just so quick Onana and that might be one of his biggest saves of the year back in the box though and Kunku again Tudibo, Tudibo. Great tackle there. Come on. Now is where we can take control of the game. De Jong running forward. Gets it to Alex Scott. Alex Scott making a run. Needs help. Alex gets it over to Rasmus Hoyland. Finds the space, but Sanchez is going to make the save. All right. 25 minutes. 
Short corner. Garnacho to Alex Scott. We're not going to shoot this one this time. We're going to hold it. Get it to Garnacho. Cross it. Literally no one is there. Okay. Casemiro, hold up. That was actually a great move. I didn't mean to do that, but that actually almost worked. Pass into Jackson. Martinez, stand strong. Actually, very strong there. Now, I'm trying to bring on Rashford, but the ball has not gone out yet. And we're not going to play it out because Bruno has got space now. Hoyland, Hoyland. He's on side, I think. Hoyland, chance to score. Shot right at Sanchez. Rebound goes in. That was so incredibly lucky. But that's 2-1 to Manchester United in the 78th minute. Bro, that second shot, that rebound was so, so lucky. Sanchez unable to save it. Okay, Scott off for Marcus Rashford. We, man, I want to bring on someone defensive, but... I can't really see where. I think we leave it at that for now. I think we leave it at that. So just Rashford on for Scott, who had an amazing game coming in for Rashford, scoring a goal. We got 12 minutes to hold this lead now. I would love that goal to seal it though. Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw, great tackle there. Get it to Rashford, who should be a little bit fresh here. Oiland gets it to Rashford. Through to Bruno Fernandez. Early shot by Bruno. That shot looks so good. Was that saved? No, I think it just went wide. One, seven minutes. Chelsea look a little bit defeated here after that goal. They look a little bit flat. And they're being very patient, almost like too patient. We're just blocking all these lanes. That is all we're doing right now. Caicedo, Caicedo, one touch there. Bruno steals it. Okay, everyone relax. Don't do anything too risky. Hoyland, play it through to De Jong. Over to Rashford to seal the Europa League final. And Rashford is going to score. Okay, that is cup final redemption for us. As we win the FA Cup 3-1. Okay, that makes up a lot for that Europa League final loss. If we would have lost both cup finals, it would have been so bad. But at least we get one trophy in season one. We had a fight for this trophy, though. Oh, it is so beautiful. Redemption. We have a chance for a goal here. Bruno Fernandez. Good touch. Bruno lifted for Hoyland. Hoyland fight for it. He's not going to get it. One final shot. Okay, no, it's not. But that is full time. Manchester United win the FA Cup in a quite dramatic fashion here. Alex Scott, Hoyland, and Rashford sealing our first trophy of the series. And our team is so shaky, though. Like, for us to really become the best team in the world, this team needs a lot of changes maybe even a managerial change but at least we can say in season one we won the fa cup we had one trophy and that is a beautiful trophy right there so bruno fernandez is gonna get to lift the fa cup for man united our first trophy of the series and thus ending season one of this career mode i mean i'll take that that was a great final we could have walked out of here with the europa league and the fa cup but we'll have to settle for just the fa cup so that is how we end season one final stats for the year hoyland scored 37 goals that's pretty crazy he also grew plus eight to 85 but bruno 29 23 uh, rashford 22 and 6. Garnacho 13 and 4. Deong 9 and 12. It's an overall pretty good season for a lot of players, but like I said, for this club to take that next level, I think there needs to be a lot of changes here. I'm thinking some big changes to this team. Players sold, players brought in, but the biggest question here is will Eric Ten Hag be the manager of this team in season 2? And did that FA Cup trophy save his job? If you want to find out, then drop a like. And if you want to watch our entire Borussia Dortmund career mode, then click on screen.